If you're ready to rededicate or dedicate your life to Christ and say that I'm going to do what God wants me to do in my relationships, especially while dating or marriage, please just slip your hand up. I see your hand. You can put it down. Is there anybody else? See your hands. God expects us to be pure. And he expects us to be holy. If there's anybody in here, you know, as I close this final prayer, I'm not going to bring you up in front of everybody. But if there's anybody in here who just really wants prayer for what they're going through, relationships that they're in, that really wants God's help, just look your hand up. See your hand. I see your hand. See your hands. Oh, yeah. First, to the people who want to rededicate your life to Christ and doing the right thing as far as relationships, dating, or marriage, I just want you to repeat after me in your heart. You don't have to say anything, but just repeat after me in your heart. Just say in your heart, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I know I made mistakes but I dedicate my life to you. Please come into my heart and save my soul. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for everybody in here. And everybody in here, under the sound of my voice, just really think deep into your heart, Lord. Just think deep into inside of your heart and just allow God to show you yourself. Because a lot of times in dating relationships, and I did this myself, you look at the other person and their flaws and their faults and what they do. But the truth of the matter is, is that God wants you, wants us to look at ourselves and see how we haven't been pleasing to him. See how we need to get better. See how we need to improve. See how we be, need to become closer to Him. What things do we need to do to please Him in the, in the relationship? A lot of times when, it, or when, when we change ourselves, God will take care of the rest. God will take care of that person. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. So I just want you to take this moment in time not to look at the person you're in a relationship with, whether married or whether dating, but look at yourself and how does God want to change you? Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray for everybody in this sound of my voice that they just get closer to you, that they seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. And everything in that relationship that they've been praying about, that they've been hoping for, comes around. Father, in the name of Jesus, allow them to have the strength to do what you want them to do and not to compromise. Father, allow godly values to become their values. And Father, allow them to know, Father, what godly boundaries they should set in their life. Father, allow us to become, um, allow us to get closer, to become closer together. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, allow this church family just to grow closer, really, truly become a family. Look out for each other, care for each other, be there for each other. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen.